so seven levels of individual group and organizational effectiveness is derived from Dave Hawkins' consciousness map. And what Dave studies, he's a neuroscientist, and he studies not only the brain and neuroscience, but he studies the energy of it. So, and there's another author, Bruce Lipton, who I would say, if you're a reader, both of reading both of their books, very powerful. The lowest level of consciousness or effectiveness is hopelessness. And when we're in hopelessness, we can't see a positive future. We are stuck. And I'm talking about stuck in cement, like I was stuck that day in that bed. It takes someone to pull you out, a therapist, a friend, a son, a husband, a wife, a, a dog, <laughs> but to have you real, realize you're stuck because when you're stuck, you've got all the walls around you. And in hopelessness, a person can only hope to be 5% effective because 95% of the time they can't see a way out. The level above that is fear and in fear, 10% effectiveness. What happens in fear is you've either got craving, you're wanting something that you can't have, like I want a husband, I want the right job, I want a client, or you're pushing away what is. I'm running out of money, oh my God, I don't wanna deal with this. Either way, you're not present. You're in this self-protection mode. And the adrenaline, the cortisol, and the neuroprenephrine are racing through your body, constricting not only your thinking, but your internal organs. So it isn't a great place to be. It's a state of dis-ease. Put the word together, and that is true. This is what causes stress. So one level above that is frustration. And this is where you are fighting against others. You are at battle. You're, you're elbowing people out of the way, trying to change them, arguing your perspective. Now you're more effective when you're there because you've got this energy moving through you, but it's fight energy, which is destructive. In frustration, you can only be effective up to 25% of the time. So a lot of people, when I'm doing my public speaking talks, they'll be like, Maji, but frustration is the mother of invention. Yes, it is. But if you try to invent in a state of frustration, you have no access to your entire executive brain because the adrenaline, the cortisol, and the neuroprenephrine are racing and it blocks your critical thinker. So you will create things that cause more problems and everybody knows what I'm talking about. We fix one thing and then we have a, a litany of the domino effect of the problems that that one fix because we were not in the right state of mind. So frustration is powerful. It's a powerful catalyst for change. And by the way, you can't jump from hopelessness to frustration or frustration above the line, which I'll talk about in a minute. It's a, the only way up is through. And it's like, you'll see it if you stop and you get aware of your own sense of what's happening, you'll see yourself in those different spaces. So the power and freedom line is conscious choice. This is the line of alignment. I choose to not be miserable, to not be angry, to not be afraid. I choose to be empowered. And you might say easier said than done, Brene, but it is a choice. The beauty about being a human being and not an animal is we have the power of volition. We can choose. So when we choose, we step into a state of courage. Now here's what happens to our hormones and our chemicals in our body and even our neurons. When we are in a state of courage, which is a belief in a positive future, often despite evidence that a positive future is available, we are releasing serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, that love hormone, and endorphins, and we could see bigger. Our perspective shifts from constrained below the line to awake, aware, and alert of all of it above the line. And the further above the line we move, the bigger our perspective gets. So encourage, just in a state of belief, I believe I will start that business. I believe I have what it takes to be a public speaker. I believe the money will come. I believe my right partner will show up. I believe I'll be the kind of daughter that my aging mother needs. 
I believe just by believing you're operating in a state of possibility, which is effective 65% of the time, which is a hell of a lot better than 25% of the time. Now, encourage when you move up, the next level is engagement. This is where I now take action in service of my vision for myself or my life or my fitness or whatever it is that I'm working on. And now I'm all in, I'm engaging, I'm playing, I'm doing the work, I'm writing articles, I'm out there public speaking, I'm spending time with my mom driving to Illinois for the summer. I'm in the game and guess what? In engagement, people are 79, are effective 79% of the time. This is why every company wants engaged employees, but they don't understand the human condition. And the human condition is to give us evidence that we belong below the line. Because when we're in fear, we'll buy things, we'll take pills, we'll do drugs, we'll drink alcohol, we'll overeat, we'll self-indulge because we want to make ourselves feel better because our ego is designed to keep us trapped to keep us in the protection zone. Anyway, that's probably a tangent. So in engagement, in engagement, I'm all in. The next level above engagement is innovation. And in a state of innovation, 89% of the time, whether you're trying and failing or trying and winning, you experience yourself as being effective and so do others. You're setting aside your ego, you're setting aside your agenda, you're setting aside your protection and you're just sharing and trying and failing and experimenting and collaborating with others. Could you imagine a whole organization operating in engagement without fear of somebody stealing their ideas, but trusting that we all had each other's back or a group of girlfriends or a family operating in that state? So 89% <clears throat> effective. Here's what happens to your brain in a state of innovation. It is expanding to the point where you're now tapping into your genius. Your right and left hemispheres are on full cylinder, full speed ahead, and they're integrating. So you not only see what needs to get done, you see your cause in the matter of getting it done. You see the whole picture, whether that whole picture is your job, your family, your community, or the world. The highest level of effectiveness is synchronicity. In the state of synchronicity, you experience everything